Hosea chapter 13. When Ephraim spake trembling of fear, he exalted himself in Israel. So there's not a fear of God. Because exalting is pride, boasting. Look who I am. And there are Christians, you know, oh, they fear. And then they're the greatest, they're the best. But when he offended, that's a great word today, you, you practically can't do anything without people being offended. But look at, but when he offended in Baal, he died. What's the offense? Who's offended? God is. And the wages of sin is death. Baal is a false god. Baal is not Jehovah. Baal is Satan. Satan goes by all kinds of names. And I've talked about him over and over and over. And if a Christian is going to serve Satan, his judgment at the judgment seat of Christ is dead. It's ashes. Because the Bible says you, you can't serve God and you can't serve the table of the devil. And when you look at the lives of seeing church age, well, Jesus Christ is outside the church. And the devil's inside. And that's the only place where the church is acknowledged as a building. And I know we use it as, as a verse for an invitation to, but that's not to lost people. That's the Christians inside the church. Will you come out? Will you get out of that worship? That's what, that's what God's been saying to Israel, Ephraim, for 13 chapters. And now they sin more and more. It gets worse and worse. It don't get better. You know, you are never satisfied in the world and its good. Oh, you start off with, with a tricycle, and then you get a you get a big wheel, and then you get a, a bike with training wheel, and then you get a bike, and then you get a 10-speed, and then maybe you get a moped, and then you get a dirt bike, and then you get a bike, and then you get a, an automobile, and then, you know, you, you get that truck, and then you get that specialty vehicle, and then you... Lost the video. Uh, you live at your parents' house. Then you go rent a room. And then you get an apartment. Then you get money, you get yourself a house. Then you get a house, then you get a camper to vacation yourself away from the house. Then you go off somewhere. And you get yourself a hotel room. Then you go, you get yourself on a cruise and you get yourself a cabin. And it all comes down to you're going to get yourself in a hole in the ground if the Lord tarries. We are in a dangerous phase in America. And I've heard people try to, you know, make it like, you know, we are legalizing marijuana. Marijuana, pot, huh, is the stairway drug to all the harsh drugs. That person that's smoking crack, that's shooting meth, doing crystal, they started with marijuana.
You don't go, all right, I'm going to do a crack. Right? No, you don't start off that way. You start your chewing on. Here, son, have a little sip of daddy's beer. Ooh, isn't that cute? You dress your daughter in a, in a absorbed kind of fashion, showing off the flesh. And then you wonder why 16 years old she comes home she's pregnant. And then they have reality television about young girls getting pregnant. Ooh. And have made them molten images of their silver. You mean their Tonys, their Oscars? First place? Aids to worship, the Catholics call it. There's better things to do with your silver. But silver is a universal element of metal that you use. It's in your computers. It's in your, your electronics. And idols according to their own understanding. You're making up gods. Oh, I got this gun. He gets in the he gets in the car. He's got a big number. Around. He goes round and 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 round. He takes a pit stop. Then he goes back around and round and round and round, and he ends up right where he started. Wasting of gas and fuel, and you wonder why God, not Biden, has gas almost ten ten dollars a gallon. Where a woman. A single mother can't get a ride to her job. Just barely can afford rent and, and a bus fare. And you got people going round and 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 round. And then they turn around and say, drink sensibly to advertise alcohol. You're drinking and driving. And at the end of the race, they get up there and they drink alcohol with, with, with a woman. It's not his wife. And all of it, the work of the craftsmen, you like in the book of Acts? Great is Diana. Great is Diana. Well, Diana here in Jose, she had another name. Asterisk. That's Baal's honey pie. Asterisk. Oh, her name changes. Today you call her Esther. And the church, oh Easter, oh Easter, that's one of the two times of the year the Christians come to church. They say of them, let the men that sacrifice kiss the calves. Those those golden calves of Jerome, uh, uh, Jeroboam. Wow, well, we're not just sacrificing, we're kissing them. You know, some of the things that, that people travel over the world in Catholic countries, they'll go up to those statues and they'll kiss them. There have been missionaries, they go to these places, and a couple of missionaries went up to the statue, they stood in line and waited, and people go up to this statue, and, and they, they're kissing the feet of this statue. They went up there, and they put their thumb in that statue. And all the kissing has worn away that foot that you can stick your thumb in it. The Pope, when he lands, he gets down and kisses the dirt, the ground. I sure hope a dog crap where he kisses. Jezebel. Go kiss Jezebel. Therefore they shall be as the morning cloud, as the early dew that passes away. It's nothing. Vain. As the chaff that's driven with the whirlwind out of the foot. The chaff is the waste of the wheat. You don't do nothing with it. The only thing chaff would be good for is if you throw it in a compost pile. But it's blown away. It's a waste. And as the smoke out of the chimney. It tells you somebody's home, but that's it. 
Yet I am the Lord thy God from the land of Egypt, where they started as a nation. Thou shalt know no God before me. Well, look at the offense in verse 1. The, even Paul said, we got one baptism, one God, one Savior, one Jesus, one Word of God, and yet we got S-Star, we got Tamus, we got NIV, we got ESV, we got ESPN, we got the, 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 the Tennessee people, and we got the, the, the Boston Celtics, and we got the 49ers, and we got the Grammys, we got the Emmys, we got the American Idol, but we have no time for Jesus. And yet Jesus is supposed to be number one. How come in, in the realm of the Bible, one God, how come we got 300 Bibles? Jesus said, John 1 and, and, and 1 John, He is the Word, not the words. I think a lot of Christians are involved in another Bible outside the King James Bible. I swear you're going to lose. You're going to lose. You're going to get upside the head with a slap and call Stolly over and hand you a King James Bible. He'll tell you that was the word of God. He's been telling you all since. Is there I told you so in, in, in heaven? Paul was an I told you so. Elijah sat back. Oh, we gotta go find Elijah. We gotta go. No, no, don't go there. We gotta go find Elijah. Oh, no, 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 no. We gotta go find. All right, go ahead. I'm staying right here. They came back. We couldn't find him. I told you so. Jesus ended up in the upper room. He chided them for their unbelief. I told you so. Imagine the agony of pastors when they get that lowly guy sitting in the pew. I told you so. For there is no Savior besides me. Savior, Savior, Savior. You see that Savior? That's Jesus. Jesus is the Savior. He's the Lord thy God. He's God. Tell the Jehovah Witnesses, go take a flying. All right, there's no hell. All right, Mr. Jehovah Witness, take a flying leap in the lake of fire. How's that one? Because if you don't believe Jesus is God, you're not saved. You're not going to heaven. What do you do with the modern Bibles? You're, you know, it's, it's essential salvation, the virgin birth. You need to believe in that. What, what is it with your modern... Oh, anybody can read a modern Bible. Anybody can do it. Well, what are you going to do when the modern Bible says a maiden shall give birth? Big deal. Go to your high schools today. There are young girls knocked up getting pregnant. That's no big deal. I did know thee in the wilderness. That's the wilderness journey. In the land of great drought. He's telling me, listen, and he made the water come from rock. According to their pasture, so were they filled, they were filled, and their heart was exalted. Pride, arrogance. Therefore they have forgotten me. Pride takes you away from God. Now I've heard passages, well there's no sin in pride. Okay. Keep saying that. Keep preaching that deceptive preaching. Because you'll get so into pride and so and what, and when somebody comes along and says, you know, listen, I'm trying to help you ask what you're doing. Oh, no, no, don't tell me. And you're going to tell me when I'm upset and I'm the way, you know, the devil's going to attack you. The devil's going to attack you. What are you talking to me? You, why should I listen to you? You're not listening to me. Oh, you're the pastor. Oh, I, I, I forgot. Oh, that, that Nicolaitism. I'm sorry. God only speaks to you. Therefore they have forgotten me. You know the churches today, they've forgotten God. Therefore I will be, and I watch it, I'll be unto him as a lion. Okay, Jesus Christ, a lion, a lion on the tribe of Judah. As a leopard. By the way, will I observe them?
I will meet them as a bear. As bereaved of her wealth or young. I will rend the call of their heart. There will I devour them like a lion. Your adversary, the devil, goes about as a roaring lion seeking to make them. That lion, that leopard, that bear, that's Daniel. That's the Antichrist. That's the tribulation period. When they're worshiping Baal. Who is the Baal in the tribulation period? It is the Antichrist, Satan incarnate, the false prophet, and the Antichrist. They're going to be worshipped and by the Jews until the three and a half years when he opens up that, that veil in the, in the most holy place and reveals that he is God. Then most of the Jews can say, uh oh, we in trouble. But there are going to be some Jews who say, hey, okay. There will be Jews when Jesus Christ comes back, that horse is going to stomp them. They will have the mark. See, well, how can you say that? Look at the history of the Jews. Look at the history of man. You know, we've come to the point in the church age today, we're going to have these great revivals. Oh, so you believe in evolution. Everything's going to get better and better and better and better and better. Then we're going to make things so great and wonderful. Then Jesus Christ is going to come. Friend, that's post-tribulation. That's post-millennialism. That's taught by major denominations, including the Southern Baptists. We're going to make things great. We're going to make things wonderful. Then Jesus Christ is going to show up and pat us on the back. Friend, that's wrong. You didn't read what Paul said to Timothy about the last days of the church age. O Israel, thou that destroyest thyself, you did it yourself, not God. You went to hell your own. God didn't do it. God did everything he could to not have you go to hell. Because look, but in me is thy help. Too many people in their lives, they run to baptism, they, love, they run to religion, they run to finances, they run to science, they run to man, they run to philosophy, they run into everything. But Jesus Christ at the cross. And then the devil's guy, that there are people who go to Jesus on the cross and Paul warns us there's another Jesus. You go to Catholic Church, there's Jesus. He's dead on the cross. My Jesus ain't on that cross no more. My Jesus doesn't die every day. You got another God, another spirit, and another gospel. Israel, Ephraim, we saw they're worshiping Baal. Now, I don't know what, what, what period of time this is, but the fact is, Elijah had a battle with 450 Baal prophets. The fire didn't light for Baal. But for, for God, Jehovah, the, 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 the fire came down burnt up the offering, licked up the water, and Elijah slayed the 400 prophets of Baal. And the people shouted, Jehovah is God, the Lord is God. At the point of Hosea, whether before Elijah or even after Elijah, Baal, he is God, Baal, he is God. None God's like, I mean, okay, but I'm not Baal. Now, if you want help, come to me. Want help? Go to the law. 
Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers. If you're a Jew, the Old Testament. You want help in the church age? Come to Calvary. Believe on Jesus, the finished work of Jesus. Anything else, nothing else. Just Jesus. Well, can't I have Jesus be good? <laughs> Listen, in the street ministry, that's the number one. Oh, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I've talked to men, violent crimes in prison, and they're good. You wouldn't say they're good. If you knew my history, my past, before I was saved, you wouldn't even be listening to me. Do you know some of the sins that I have confessed before God? Before I was saved, and even when I was saved. No one in their right mind would say I was good. And yet there are people involved in those sins, and they, oh, they're okay. They won't go to God. I will be thy king. There's Jesus. Israel is going to go into captivity. They will have no more king. Judah is going to go into captivity. They will have no king. There's no king in Israel right now. The king of the Jews is seated at the right hand of the Father right now. There is no king of the church. Matthew's written to the Jews. and has spoken about the king of the Jews. The line of David. We are under the gospel of John. Jesus as God. Jesus is not our king. He is our husband. The only time that Jesus becomes king over the Christians are those Christians that have rulership in the millennium. Then he'll be king of kings. But you know, the hymn, the song says he's the king. But you forgot Satan, Lucifer, was a song leader. But then again, I mean, you don't listen to the radio. You don't listen to the nonsense that's coming out of the Christian speakers. Where is any other that may save thee in all thy city? Come on, who's going to save you if it's not me? Verse 9. And thy judges of whom you says. Give me a king or a princess. All right, you got your king. Especially Israel North, they've never had one good king. Where's it gotten? They're going to captivity. It's what's gotten. Not one good king. I gave thee a king in my mind, in my anger. Saul. When Samuel came to, to God and said, God, they're asking for a king. And like, Saul, so they're, they're not rejecting you. They're rejecting me. You give them a king, but you better warn them. And I took them away in my wrath because that king did everything against the word of God. The iniquity of Ephraim is bound up. His sin is hid. Again, I've been bringing this up with the church age and all that and everything. You realize you go to church and you're sitting there with a bunch of Christians. You don't know what that guy is sitting in front of you is doing. You don't know what the people behind you. You don't know what people across over there are doing. That guy may be going home doing hard drugs. That guy may go home and beat his wife. That guy may take all his money and do gambling. I know a guy who was great friends with the pastor and all that. And it was the second round committing adultery with his second wife. Oh, you know, we're going to de-church him and all that. And he wasted the wife and wasted the children. And I found the pastor's car at that guy's garage. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, 
Meanwhile, let the mother mess up and let the daughter all mess up. But you were right back at that guy's garage. I wouldn't take even the car. I wouldn't take my car there no more. Same done with you, brother. Oh, well, you know, all to be forgiven, all that. What about the family? There, are, listen. There are sins I do you don't know about. There are sins you do we don't know about. You better get them under the blood. You better confess those sins for God to cleanse and, and to forgive you your sins, or they're going to show up at judgment. The sorrows of a travailing woman. That travailing woman is a sign of the tribulation period. Shall come upon them. That would be also the captivity coming. And the tribulation. He is an unwise son. You, can you see the story that Jesus told about the prodigal? That was an unwise son. God, give me all the money. Oh, party! Hey, drinks are in the house. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Pig, give me that. I don't read the Old Testament. Look at that, 13, 13. 13, the Bible's rebellion. First war that breaks out in the Bible is in, in Genesis 13. It's a world war. I will redeem them from death. Oh, death. The, oh, you recognize that expression, Paul? You know, there are people out there, only what Paul said. I, I was accused of it. Only Paul. What Paul says, that's it, science here. Nothing else but Paul. Go through the Old Testament and mark all the places where Paul quoted from. Where do you think Paul got most of his teaching? From the Old Testament. Doesn't Paul give us nine of the Ten Commandments? Well, gee, that's Exodus and I think Leviticus and Deuteronomy. I will be thy plague. You're in trouble. That's what happened in Egypt. To the Egyptians. O grave, I will be thy destruction. That's coming. The Syrians are coming. Repentance shall be hid from mine. You're going to repent because you're in trouble because you were caught. And God's like, hey, thank you for repentance. That's not godly repentance that Paul spoke about. And I'm not Paul onlyism. Because I wouldn't be talking about Hosea. We'd be doing Romans, 1 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians, Ephesians. Then we go back to. We've gone all the way through the Bible, at least once, I believe. Every chapter. Though he be fruitful, now remember a couple chapters ago, he was an empty vine, he had no fruit. Though he be fruitful among his brethren, this is fruit of the world. This is dead, stinky, rotten, worm-filled fruit. This ain't fruit under God. This is artificial fruit. It may look like an apple, but you can't eat it. An east wind, and that's a wind that, that brings destruction and, and troubles and problems shall come. The wind of the Lord shall come up from the wilderness. And his spring shall become dry. It's going to dry up the waters. That's the tribulation period. Those locusts that run around, no water... And whatever what water is left over, Moses is turning to blood, and, and Elijah saying, Hey, Lord, don't let it rain. And if you do harm to Moses, like, you're dead. The Antichrist gets 
gets irritated with him, he kills him. The fountain shall be dried up, no water. Oh, I'll go run to the store, I'll get me a bottle of water. Oh, no, you don't. You can't go to the store today and get formula. Now, I don't want to be gross, okay? But, I mean, we do have a formula story. But I saw someone where at Walmart has it, but there wasn't much, okay? How come no one said put that baby on the woman's breast? Oh, the government's going to step in and they're, they're going to make formula. I don't know how they're going to do it, but they're going to make tell the ba Tell the woman your breasts are for the baby. Not for you to be showing and dancing around at a nightclub. Or showing yourself on the internet. Or the magazine. I mean, the Bible says those women's breasts are for two. They're for her husband and they're for her child. I haven't heard anybody get up in the news. Put the baby on your breast. You'll have food. You don't need to worry about formula. That's why people hate me. There's a water storage come. I don't know about the whales, but I don't know about the manatees, but you, you're going to run out of water. You know, the Catholic Church said, we're going to drink the blood of Jesus. You're going to be drinking the blood of Moses. I don't mean the blood of Moses. I mean, Moses turned the water to blood. The only thing you're going to have is blood. You're going to go down to the store. You're going to get that bottle of spring water. You're going to pop that thing open. It's going to be blood. Real blood. Not synthetic. It ain't going to be turned to wine. It's going to be turned to blood. He shall spoil the treasure of all present vessels. Every museum is going to be destroyed. It's going to be ruined. The, 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 the art encounter will be destroyed. You're going to go in. There's going to be a food shortage. There's going to be a war. You're going to open up that safe. You're going to pull out your stocks. You're going to pull out your box. They're not going to feed you. You know, when, when, when America had the first, there will be more, crash. What, 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 what date did I say that was this? 1930, what was something, was it? If you go to our Bible study today, do you realize when they came out with version? The new King James Version? The King James Version? The NIV, the New Inner Idiots version, the American Standard version. You know when they came out with that version, America was hit with the stock market crash. Nineteen, I forget what year it was. Nineteen twenty-nine. Go back. Go to today's Bible lesson. You'll find out. They came up with the with all the versions, and he said that, that's when you had the King James version come out. Nineteen twenty-nine. Did I say? Guy says, "All right, crash." No money. Jump out of the buildings. The next one will be, all right, you'll have your money, but you ain't got food. It's going on right now. And you can put a Republican in the office. You can put a Republican in, as the high authority of all the world. If God says no food, that Republican ain't going to do crap. Oh, when Elijah was around the first time and he said no food, no water, they were selling dub crap. Dung. Doo-doo. There was an ass's head. Ass. Ass's head being sold for food. Treasure. Weren't they just using the silver for idols? and? <laughs> Samaria, that's the capital, shall become desolate, empty. For she shall for she has rebelled against her God. You know what happens to a nation? You know what happens to a capital of a nation? When they reject God, you become a desolate. You know what the Baptists say? Wonderful break. Oh, hallelujah. We're having to you. Of a revival. We're having a, hey, we're having an international prayer. 
everybody get together and pray. Stalin, are you going to pray Thursday for international prayer? Why? God ain't listening to sodomites pray. God ain't listening to the Catholics pray. Oh, yeah, you pray for every church, you pray for everybody. All right, you believe that nonsense. God told Jeremiah, don't even pray for him. They shall fall by the sword. War. Their infants shall be dashed in pieces. Don't worry about abortion. There's coming worse. That happened in Judah. You find that in the book of Lamentations. You find that in the Psalms. Sing about that. Here comes the army. Here I got this baby. Bang. He shall spoil the treasures of all pleasant beings. Yeah, there goes the infants. That's a treasure. Supposed to be. Not in America. And their women with child shall, he, shall be ripped up. I mean, just cut right through. Both the, baby, the mother and the baby will die. That's how fierce the Assyrians are. That's how fierce the Babylonians are. That may be how fierce the Antichrist is. Oh, you know, uh, Russia's attacking Ukraine. Oh, oh, man, a missile by Russia's attacked a hospital and women and children. Oh, no, that's what happens in war. In war, they don't go out in the streets and hugging and kissing each other. You're not at Woodstock, fornicating and music and drugs. That's not war. That may have been your time, but that ain't real life. And America will be, if God ever opens up this, the door of this nation to our enemy, and you have not seen nothing yet. America has been blessed by God. And America has turned her back on God. Her churches have turned her back on God. Hello, Ephraim. Yeah, what, what happened when you guys turned? You're, you're God's people, right? Yeah, where did you? Where, where did he? Where God, what happened when you turned your back on God? We're not in the land no more. Oh, okay. All right. Judah. Yeah. You guys keep... Yeah, we're God's people. All right. Um, what happens when you went for the Queen of Heaven and you didn't listen to Jeremiah and everything? We're not in the land. Right now, a bunch of Catholics are running around and Arabians are running around and the Palestinians are running around and they launch missiles into it. And then when we launch a missile, everybody gets all... Oh, really? Oh, okay. Yeah. And... Well, where's your temple today? It's been destroyed. Now you got the dumb of the rock. Oh, and that's where what? Oh, we rejected God. Oh, okay. Have a good day. Hello, Sodom Gomorrah? Yeah, how you doing? You were visited by two angels. Yeah, man, we, man, we tried to knock that door down. We tried to make our way with them and all that. Well, what happened to you guys? We got pride. What happened to Lot's wife? And she turned us all. For what? And we didn't have nothing to do with God. Hello, Pharaoh. Yeah, how you doing, Pharaoh? Your little water log? What happened? Your whole entire army was, was flooded? And your rivers turned to blood and the flies and the, and the dead frogs? And, and all your plants were gone and eaten by, by weather and, and, and everything just destroyed? And your firstborn of animals and humans dead? Why? Oh, because you didn't listen to God. Oh. Sorry to hear that. Hello, Adolf Hitler? Yeah, how you doing? Uh, what happened to you? You, you? you had a barbecue. Oh, you and your, your girlfriend, you had a barbecue. Oh, you burned yourself. Well, what happened to the Nazis and all? Oh, they died. They were tried to war crimes. And 
it all broken up and why? Oh, because you cursed the Jew. Oh. And you didn't have nothing. You were a Roman Catholic and you thought, okay. Okay. Okay, well. Enjoy hell. Hello, America. Hey. Which God do you have? Protestant? Catholic? Mormon? Jehovah Witness? Mary Baker Eddy? Science? Evolution? Education? Money? George Washington? Benjamin Franklin? We got all kinds of denominations. We don't even have denominations. We got abortion. We got Democrats. We got Republicans. We got, uh, you know, four faces on the side of the mountain. Everybody goes to pay money. We look for this big guys that come out of the ground. We got rolling fixtures in, in, our, in our capital city of Washington. We got this slot. We got, we got selling alcohol. We got selling uh, tobacco. What about God? What about God? Yeah, we got God. We got Mary's God. We got Allah's God. We got we got all kinds of gods here. Well, what about your your Baptist church? Oh, we got the NIV, ESV, the PDQ, you stinky poo poo. We got all kinds. What about the King James? Uh, we don't have that. We got a couple of people that have the King James. But what about God? Oh, we got S star. We got the celebration. We celebrate the birthday of Jesus. We give him toilet paper. Really. And we're going to have great revivals. Uh, hold on. Would you like me to put you in party line with Judah, with Israel, with Sodom and Gomorrah, with S Sodom and Sain, and Adolf Hitler? You, you, you want to get on one big party line to say, you ain't going to get that revival? Oh, you're going to get it. Yeah, you're going to get it. Goodbye. And that's it. When you turn away from God, and even you don't even want to admit you turn away from God, when you turn away from God, and you don't want to hear the message, you don't want to hear that, that little scumbag in your chair, who do you think he is? Okay. Just sit back and watch the destruction. Well, look at you. You know, you fall under pressure. You, you, got, uh, uh, you know, hey, we're all sinners. I didn't say I was perfect. Never said I was perfect. But I got God's grace and mercy. I'm going to say, hey, I know what the truth is. You don't. All are welcome. You want to give me a book and chapter and verse on that one? Bring them to the church. You want to give me a book and chapter and verse on that one? Judgment's coming. 